morning everybody welcome back Good morning i am building a compost bed and worm farm my wife she wanted to uh, add on to the garden to make a uh, compost pile to uh, help regenerate some of the, the soil in the uh, garden replenish it all the nutrients and whatever also to have some worms so let's have a worm farm so i'm building a bed for her i am using treated two by sixes tongue and groove two by sixes uh, a lot of people use them for doing uh, like pole barns, bases around pole barns and things. Fill up with concrete, gravel, dirt, whatever you want to put in your in your uh, base. This is what it looks like. <clears throat> you see this? Your tongue and grooves. They just basically stack one on top of another. I'm making it six foot wide by two foot deep. By about uh, I'm shooting for about four feet, three feet, three or four feet, uh, depending upon how how high it looks. I mean, I'm okay to put four foot. But it might be a little too much for my wife to bend over that far, reach in that far. Um, that's pretty deep. So anyways, we'll uh, evaluate that by when, as time goes on. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, I'm going to cut a few more two-footers down. I bought 12-inch board or 12-foot boards. I could get all my six-footers. I can get a six-footer. I got five of them. I can get a six-footer and all my three-footers, our remainders. I can get three two footers and a six footer out of one board so i'm having almost no waste that's why I'm, that's one thrown away as i'm cutting these i want to, i want to show you something that you may or may not know if you ever worked with three lumber tongue and groove two by sixes i've done a lot of decks in my days a lot of pole bars in my days so i kind of understand this and know this but if you look at the edge of this board i'll show you down here see the edge of it so this one's nice and flat across here. There's no, no chamfers on it. This side, it's got chamfers on the, on the corners, okay? And you can use that a couple different ways. You can make it look, you know, appeasing. If you do this, basically, it'll give you a, a unique look. I'll turn the camera around so you can see it. See so how you got the individual board look kind of like that put together it gives you a nice detail and if you're doing like a, a garage or a pole barn you're going to do three or four of these high for like a base that looks pretty cool now on the flip side is i'll roll them over put them all together and all those lines disappear. So it's just basically a straight board. You still see a little bit of line, but not like the, the detail on the other ones. Now, I'm not worried about everything lining up and being perfect on this job. It's going to be, where well, no one's gonna see it. It's, in the back, it's basically in the backyard behind the, uh, behind the flower bed, so no one's gonna see it. I'm, I'm more worried or interested in curb appeal, just looking from, from a distance. If you notice, some of these boards have big knots in them. That's going to happen. I mean, it's it's wood. It's a tree. It, it, it's it's going to have knots in it. What I'm trying to do is see all these big knots. There's one there on that end, one on this end. I'm looking for the best side. This side is better. That's the side I want to show because that's going to be the one that I'm going to see, and that's what's going to be from the distance that I'm going to look at. Um, and like I said, if they match up with the uh, details or the uh, chamfers i'm fine i'm okay with that but you see like this one here has a damaged corner on it so i can't put that up front i have to use the other side of that it's got a, a big damage on the end and a big knot right there in the tongue of the groove so i want to rotate it around in this case they're going to like they're going to line it up perfectly but what i found is when you go to a lumber yard to buy lumber in order to get perfect lumber you see you have to go through all the you have to go the whole stack of lumber to get it and they're all twisted, they're bows, you gotta look for big knots, look for damage marks, look for broken tongue and grooves, look for different defects that you don't want to be showing. Uh, if I were doing to be doing a, a, garage, a pole barn or a garage, especially for something I was, people was paying me to do, I would want it to be right. I would have to make sure all the lines met up, all the lines went across, and I'd become OCD. I don't have OCD, but I can relate to it because I like things to be neat. I am a perfectionist by trade. I mean, that's, you know, that's me. But uh, anyways, uh, you'll find out if you ever, ever buy lumber. Be picky about it. You have to sort it out. 
and it's very very rare you want to get nice clean straight two by fours and two by sixes and whatever else that you want to get exactly what you want to get be be particular look at them know what you're going to be doing because you're the one going to be after cutting them and covering them up the mistakes that they that you find basically how, how i'm assembling it i'm laying one flat on the ground just on the ground like this doing putting the other this way so it's six foot across this way and two foot across this way and on the end I'm driving three screws through the board like this one in the middle one top and bottom the reason I'm doing it is is um, just going to see a lot of moisture a lot of dirt a lot of sun a lot of different things so what I wanted to do is keep it from warping, keep it from bowing. So I'm putting three screws in each, each board to hold it from, hopefully keep it from bowing as bad. Done. What do you think? I like it.